Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 9 and 10 of Amigami SS. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. And here is the time when I fell in love with a girl during the summer. In the end, it turned out to be my little sister's best friend. Of course, because she's shy. I just wonder how, like, she's going, how, like, to stand between Kaoru and Mori because both of their stories were very interesting. And Looking at a summer love story, like, 9 out of 10, 9 out of 10, some are good and some are bad, but I don't know. I have high hopes for her. She's a shy girl, so, who knows? Obviously. Mm-hmm. Have a good day. Voice is so quiet. Oh. <laughs> 
I do also love that our narrator is narrating the heck out of this because of the fact his say is so quiet and shy. I think that's very different. Hold on, don't like crowd her, damn. She ran away because you asked her too many freaking questions. Nice job. Might as well. <laughs> yeah, she's like a cute little sheep. Not the pervy hands back up.
I might have to go get my soda after this. I'm like seriously crashing. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, no, it's okay. Anybody is afraid of dogs. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. The, the future. Okay, the second better girlfriend. The second better love interest. That's all? <laughs> oh, once again, Cowdery the Savage. Yeah, but the thing is, since she has such a quiet, soft voice, it might not work for her. But it could be fun, though. A test. Ah, got you.
Yeah, she's kind of like what's her face from working, but Homegirl was really more afraid of men, not just strangers in general, because she was able to work around females. But guys, mm mm. There you go. Oh, sugar, I'm bleeding. That wasn't the smartest thing to do. Oh my god. I don't know about this.
Good job, say. Okay, she is adorable. I love the fact that she is very shy into herself. Also, once again, love the fact that with her arc, it is a narrator narrating pretty much everything. I think that's really cute and wholesome because I, I, I haven't seen that in a while with a quote-unquote third wheel, you know, or, you know, someone fourth wheeling the anime and such, especially having him, like, you know, <laughs> the narrator talk massive itch about him and be like, oh, hey, could you stop that? Like, damn, I know I am a failure, but you don't really got to let me know as well. Like, yeah, like, yeah, uh, let the audience know, but I don't have to over here. But, you know, you feel bad for Tachibana. But, no, say it's just like the cutest little cutie patootie. Like I said, she gives me like Haru and, and the other shy girl vibes and such. But she's going to come out of her shell. And I think in the moment of her saying, like, Glamour's body, I think possibly that's when she fell in love with him. But I think going into the next episode, we'll probably have another moment where it's like, yes, these are the feelings that I feel about this boy and such. I love the fact that Kaoru got to make an appearance because, yes, she was the previous girl who we saw. And, and same thing with Mori. In the end, all these girls are still going to be um, intertwined in everybody's story. So everybody's still going to have, like, a cute little moment with him. And being like, yeah, you know, what if this and what if that? But no, it was like, so freaking adorable as hell. Um, the preview context, what the fuck was that? What the heck was that? Bruh. No comment. Go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode 10. Alright, episode 10 in 3 two, one, go. Well, we hope the friendship has, con you know, continued and blossomed. No. Go ahead. <laughs> Poor baby. Talking to a vending machine. But you know what? Hey, if that helps her... You do what you gotta do. Right? He wouldn't suggest it if you if he didn't think you were ready. Excuse me.
you have another freaking Jesus Christ? Freaking hangnails, like god dang. You got this. Deep breath. No, no, it's okay. Please, yes, because that's so offensive. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. I <laughs> That's also where she fell in love with him. Exactly! Absolutely. freaking -lily. You were supposed to order something! <laughs> oh my god! It should be light out as I am. Ooh, yeah it is! <laughs> Yeah, not anything with you yet. I think you're, she's probably going to be the last story of this series overall. Ah. 
True, yeah. You got to be fast on almost any job, regardless. Anything that has to deal with customer service. This is the context. Oh, my God. This is not going to end well. Sometimes I feel like the narrator is just anything that Sai is thinking of. <laughs> Except instead of her using like the cutesy what's your voice, she is over here like yeah, my inner voice is a man. <laughs> I'm being like, what the hell is this man thinking? Somebody is definitely going to walk him. Yeah, we're just not going to talk about what just happened a couple of minutes ago, though. No one needs to know. <laughs> All four of these officers, he's just gonna have nothing but really bad scratch marks on him, did his sister.
I, I don't know about this. Because of the fact is, duh. Duh. Yeah, it is cute. And besides, we already technically saw him in a swimsuit. Like, the first four episodes when it was Muddy's story. Aww. I'm ready to go back to bed. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fun. Well, yeah, they're just eating the dead skin. It kind of tickles. That's when he fell in love with her. That's just the lust. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, well, bye, say. Oh, we know. Good job. 
we can obviously because she likes him. He's just, once again, boys, it takes a little bit of a while for y'all to figure it out. But obviously, you should know. To say that her brother is bad at the game. <laughs> Damn it, I lost the top. in the game of life. Right? So yeah, in a way, you still lose. It, it really is. That's why. <laughs> I, I love an anime when they play the game of life, but like IRL, psh, I'm like, mm -mm. I ain't playing that. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, never. No, 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 he didn't say that. And I'm guessing this is over eight. Yep, of course. Of freaking course. Let's end it right where she literally wants to confess because since she's getting to like be, hold on, I'm looking for the, there's the cap. She's getting more confidence in herself. She's going to be able to convey her, her feelings towards him. But because of the fact is like, I think she's a little afraid of the rejection she's scared to like literally tell him any girl is like that any woman is like that we as women we are just like mm -mm. 
Because we think of, like, so many different scenarios of, like, what's going to happen if they say no to us. And it's, like, how do you continue on this friendship with that significant other, whether it's a guy, a girl, whoever. But I, I'm rooting for Say. Her her thing is, and her little arc, it's just super adorable. Once again, love the fact that the narrator is just coming in fourth wall on us, like, every few minutes. It, it's the best pivotal moment of this. But, no, like, her, them going to, like, the hot springs and doing ish there, and then him collapsing because, of course, the emotion of the week once again, lustful for the win. <laughs> Save your dirty minds and dirty thoughts for later. Nah, that's the typical guy for you. Very, very typical guy. But no, if she, what I'm hoping is going into episodes, um, I'm guessing what, 11 and 12, um, what I'm see, what I'm hoping for for 11 specifically is that she does tell him, I do have feelings for you. If it's not in the beginning, at least do it before episode 12, because of course, that's when we're going to get the bit pivotal moment between these two where he's also going to confess how we're going to end the arc in a nutshell because uh, once again, I'm still pissed. And I will say that until I'm blue in the face. That Kaoru's ending wasn't what I thought it was going to be where I was ready to see her older. Same thing possibly with the rest of these girls older and then being fully committed and married to Tachibana except his sister. Um, but they was just like, no, Mori, Mori's the only one who's probably going to get that because I'm guessing once again, she is the canon girl for this series, regardless. Like, yes, everybody gets to have all these screen time and moments with him, but Mori is the one that regardless, like, is the canon one, is the one that the creators of this series is like, this is who he chooses at the end of the day. But no, yeah, Sai's storyline was not that bad. I mean, mm, it's only story three, and I'm just like, girl, damn, was not expecting all that to go that way. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episodes nine and ten of I'm Going Yes S. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes 11 and 12. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.